Good magical morning, Jefferson. It's prom week. For dinner options, Ryan Colby is checking out Snuffies. For entertainment options, Sam Summerness takes us fishing. And for a sneak peek, Jonas Hines takes us to the new prom location. Have a fun and safe prom, Jefferson. Jaguar spots us next. Good morning, Jefferson. This is your trap shooting anchor, Jacob Olson. And your volleyball playing anchor, Max Turpy. Jacob, I hope you're as excited for the end of the week as I am. Absolutely. Prom is coming up, Jefferson, and I hope you are ready. Are you, Max? Yup. But let's talk more about that later. Right now, I'm rather hungry. Me too, but I know just the place for it. Did you know Bloomington has a Snuffies? Yes, it's on 98th Street, right? I'm not quite sure, but Ryan Colby can tell us all about it. You might have heard of Snuffy's Mall Shop, or even been there. Recently, a new one opened in Bloomington, and today, we take a look inside the restaurant. Snuffy's is located on the corner of 98th Street and 35W. Snuffy's is open seven days a week from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Snuffy's may be known for burgers, fries, and malts, but they also feature a selection of sandwiches and other items. Snuffy's Lindy, and it's basically a BLT with egg salad. It's really good. As far as burgers go, it's the Plaza Burger. The molds were fantastic. Snuffies will be a hot spot for people looking for summer jobs. It's a great place to work. I first started working here when I moved to Minnesota for college, and 12 years later, I'm still here. It's a great company to work for. Management is great. It's a fun atmosphere. The co-workers, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. Snuffy's service is unmatched. Overall dining experience was great. Got my food right away. I was very pleased. Snuffy's is a great new Bloomington restaurant and is sure to be a staple for years to come. This has been Ryan Colby reporting for Jaguar Spots. Mmm, malts. Thank you for the story, Ryan. Those malts look fabulous. <laughs> Don't they? Did you know there's a secret around malts? Really? What's the secret? You have to combine a malt with a very specific food. Come on, tell me. I'm so hungry. You gotta try a good old malt with some fish. Ah. Uh. Ah, oh, stop fooling me like that. That was really, ah, uh, I was really expecting something good. You know what? If you don't believe it, let's ask Sam Summerness if it's true. You don't have to ask him. It's wrong. But Sam, tell us more about fishing. What's up, Jaguars? We're here at one of the local Bloomington lakes, and we're going to be doing a little bit of fishing this spring. Uh, I like catching largemouth bass, uh, muskies, uh, northern. Uh, I like pretty much fishing any with anybody, uh, alone or with friends is great. Uh, my favorite part was just being outside fishing. So since we don't have as many ponds in like the urban areas of Germany, there is like um, kind of like fake prep ponds where there's like fish in it, so you're guaranteed to like catch something. Um, I remember my brother did that once with my gr uh, grandparents, um, and yeah, I think. Uh, Especially in Minneapolis, you have way more, or Minnesota, you have way more uh, ponds and opportunities to go fishing. It's probably more, more of a hobby up here than it is in Germany. Uh, fishing, I like being outdoors and going with friends. That's also really fun. It's a good pastime. Uh, I did catch a pretty good northern one time. All right, Jaguars. Well, now you know how it's done. You learned from the best. We'll see you later. See, not even a word about combining malt with fish. Thank you, thank you, Sam, for the story and the culinary enlightenment. Whatever, I like it. And you're allowed to. But you know what I like? Prom is coming up on Friday. Indeed, and I gotta say, Max, you look good. Thank you, you too.
Thank you. I really like the gown, don't you? They were kind of the highlight of my outfit. Yeah, I see that. You really have an interesting taste. But I'm glad you're ready. Thank you. To get you even more ready, we'll go to Jonas Hines with some details on the prom location. Take it away, Jonas. What's up, Jaguars? End of the year is coming up fast, and with that comes prom. Let's take a look at what's in store for this year's event. Prom will be held on May 17th at the Parkview Center in Nickelodeon Universe from 8 to 12. Uh, well, International Market Square was expensive, far away, and uh, to be traveling uh, that distance that late at night is was uh, could be challenging. So we wanted to get it someplace local to keep the kids local and keep the money local and just make it easier on everybody. The location may have changed, but the students' attitudes definitely have not. Well, I'm excited to, um, you know, go on them roller coasters. I ain't gonna flex. I'm scared of roller coasters, though. So, like, this is my, like, first time on a roller coaster. I'm excited for that. I'm excited to see um, all my friends looking nice. Um, I'm excited to have a fun time with my boys and my dates. In addition, uh, Kyle Kilby hooked me up with his Louis Vuitton belt, which is kind of nice. Hope everyone has a fun and safe prom night. This has been Jonas Hines reporting for Jaguar Spots. Stay vertical, Jefferson. Thanks, Jonas. I really look forward to the free rides. 10 to midnight, Jefferson. Woo! <laughs> I'm so excited. I hope you're as excited for our last bit of the show. Yes, listen up, Jefferson. These are last minute announcements. Enter the Diversity Day Poetry and Spoken Word Contest for your chance to win $100. Pick up an application in the office. Submissions are due May 30th and by 3 p.m. Clothing, clothing drive items should be dropped off in the cafeteria during lunch. Attention students, in 9th for grade 9 through 11, please check your school email for information on keeping your Chromebook this summer. Attention seniors, senior Chromebooks will be collected on Wednesday, May 29th, during your sixth period class. If you do not have a sixth period class, return your Chromebook and charge it to the media center before leaving the building after your last class of the term. Students through grade through 11, the last day to check out books in the media center is this Friday, May, May 17th. All books, and book fines, and Chromebook fees are due Friday, May 24th in the Media Center. Obligations may be viewed in Infant Campus under fees. Any students with a book out after May 24th will be assert, assessed a $5 late fee. Please see the Media Center staff if you have any questions. Well, that wraps up Show 7. Thank you for hosting my last show with me, Jacob. No worries. This has been your trap shooting anchor, Jacob Olson. And your volleyball playing anchor, Max Turpy. See you next time, Jefferson. After choir class, um, some of my sophomore friends came and stopped me. And then I got a poster that said, will you go to prom with me? Of course I asked someone to prom. Actually, no, someone asked me to prom, actually. It's really okay. weird. Do you want to tell us? So we were at North Star Tavern, me and my fr good friend Seth, and then one of her friends came by that you know lives with her and asked me to prom. Okay, this is how I asked Miss Simons to prom. Um, I put some of her favorite things, and then I also put me on it. Yeah, um, but Miss Simons said no. So I did. I'm sorry. Doesn't work for the age requirement. Sorry, Lauren. Yeah, there's some laws <laughs> in the way, but they ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine. But thanks, Here it is. you too. Thank you. Ceiling, how would you feel about me taking your two beautiful daughters to prom? No. I was gonna get some birds, put them in boxes, and set them up at various places, and then have a click of a button, and they all shoot out, like in those nice romantic movies. No, 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 no. To your person to prom. I actually made a poster. It's a little cliche, but you know, she appreciated it, so. My promposal wasn't a promposal. It was a mutual agreement with my boyfriend. She asked me out to prom. And then I asked her, she said, yeah. She just gave me this like box of seashells. I'm like, what the fudge? And I was like, okay. So then I flipped them over and it was like, O M R. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, prom. Sure, I'll go with you. I guess you're my girlfriend or something. And bada bing, bada boom.